What's going on guys, Black Scout Survival, and today we're gonna to be talking about the uh, Karambit. I'm gonna be talking about my favorite Karambit for EDC and for defensive applications, as well as um, showing you some techniques that you can practice at home. And this is gonna how you can use it with a Karambit and how it can also transfer to empty hands fighting as well. So I'll show both of those techniques. So uh, hopefully you enjoy it and stay tuned for the video. So let's talk about my favorite um, EDC Karambit, and this is the, the Emerson. This is the Combat Karambit. A few years ago, we uh, reviewed the Super Karambit. Now the difference between the, these two are, the Combat Karambit's a little bit smaller. I think it, maybe it's not called the Karambit, Combat, it may be just be called the Karambit, but it's got a two and a half inch blade, whereas this one, the Super Karambit has a three inch blade. Um, you know, this is just really big, it's a lot bigger handle, so it kind of like just, uh, you know, you really notice it in your pocket. So that's why I went to uh, the smaller version here. Um, it's just as capable and it uh, fits really good. Now the, the benefit of the, the Emerson is this uh, little lip right here, this the wave feature. And what this does is this pulls your pocket as you're pulling it out and opens up. So like a standard folder, you, you gotta get out and try to flip out the Emerson, all you got to do is under, you know, stress and duress, find that ring, twist out and pop out and you're, you know, ready to go, the blades out for you. So it also has a huge thumb hole right there. So if you're using it like a standard, you can just open it up there. Now the benefit, another benefit of the Karambit, you know, this is an Indonesian uh, weapon using a lot of different Filipino martial arts, but the, the two identifying features here is a retention ring and the curved blade. Now, you look at something like the Sock P, which I, I do like as well, it has the retention ring but not the curved blade, and that's gonna play a, a big part in, in the type of fighting you use with the Karambit. It's, it's really designed for really close quarters and grappling type uh, situations where you're trying to manipulate the body, move the body, and, and cut while you're doing it. So um, the Sock P isn't gonna do that. It's not gonna have that same ability. But anyhow, let's uh, talk a little bit about the knife a little bit more. This is uh, got a G10 handle. Um, CPM 154 blade, it's flat ground, it's got a liner lock, big thumb hole and wave feature, jimping on the back. Pocket clip that you can wear on either side and if you're carrying a firearm you may want to carry it on your uh, opposing side. Now I got this one from Optics Planet, right now this is the cheapest um, that I've seen it, it's 175 on there. Normally this is like a $280 knife, so this version right here 175 and you can use our discount code uh, down below. Use that link and use our discount code, get another 15% off, and, and you're getting this knife for a really good price. So anyhow, let's talk about some uh, techniques and uh, kind of go over those for so you. So let's talk about striking with the um, Krombit, and this is like universal any Krombit, and it can even be applied to uh, standard knives as well. But uh, the, we're gonna just go to the five, the major five of the, um, you know, most Philippine martial arts. The other good thing about the Emerson, you can use it as like a brass knuckle type thing or hammer fist without having the blade out. Now this is a trainer, make sure you use a trainer if you're gonna um, you know, um, practice or anything like that because you don't wanna cut yourself, put yourself at risk. But anyhow, we got your number one strike, which is going down from you know, your collarbone across body. Then you come back two and go down. Three is cross body midsection. I mean, or you could go throw it if you want to, whatever, but just a, a horizontal. Then four, and then a five is a stab. So you can, uh, you know, use it with the blade. And you'll notice that whenever I hit my hand or my arm, people do that in Philippine martial arts. It's called rebounding. So instead of me swinging here and then coming back, use your arm to rebound to help, because you're using a lot of pressure when you're cutting to help your, guide yourself back across. So that's called rebounding, just in case you've ever seen Philippine martial arts guys do that. But you can also use the knife where you swing it out to the extended grip. So we have the ice pick grip, extended grip. 
and this is really secure like it may not look like it but I mean it's really secure and it's good for giving that extension on a blade and that's another good thing about the crommet so you can be fighting like this and then extend out and it's really good for getting those uh, throat cuts so so you can do extended strikes as well some crommets have reverse blades which that's the good point of that or if it's a dull part of the blade you can just strike somebody or you can also carry it in a standard grip now some guys will say hey you don't use a retention ring like that that's crazy you have a retention ring use it there's no reason why you need to hold your knife like this when you got a retention ring this is even unnatural in the hand it doesn't feel right so i know there's a lot of hocus pocus out there that says to do this do not do that use the retention ring that's how it's designed to be used and you can do the same thing like a typical knife just with a curved blade and so you can you know do all those strikes as well so that's the striking pattern. Now we're gonna go over some defensive applications. All right guys, so we're gonna go over some techniques and uh, guess who's back. We've got Black Scout Commando Zach on the scene. Uh, it's been a minute. He's got a YouTube channel called Concealed Survival. Um, go over there and subscribe to that. He hadn't put out videos in a long time, but maybe y'all go subscribe to him, he'll put out some more videos anyhow. So we're gonna do some uh, techniques for you. And we're gonna start off with like some, you know, straight stab stuff got the karambin out so guy's got a knife and he's going to do a uh, just a straight stab at me and i'm a block so let's do that again so he's gonna and i'm gonna slap go slow so i'm gonna slap and i'm gonna take this arm and scoop and trap and then cut the mixed section so we'll do that again so if he comes i'm gonna step out to the outside now that's important footwork is important so we're gonna step out to the outside of the body so go ahead and then cut to the midsection. So now let's say he goes high. We're gonna go, we're gonna cut here, and then I can go to extended grip and cut across. I can go to his throat if I want to. Just like that right there. So we'll do it real slow. So I go ahead and hit here, trap here, go ahead and go extended grip, and then cut the throat. And I think I'm hitting Ronald's carotid artery, am I? Yep. So, that could be deadly. We'll do that one more time and cut to the throat on that extended grip. Now that's the benefit of that extended grip. It gives me another, you know, eight inches. So go ahead and go, we'll get to that point. You know, it's gonna be hard for me to do that here, but on that extended grip and I, as I push him away. The next one we're gonna look at is uh, defending against the number one slash. Somebody's coming to cross body slash and we'll also do a stab. And I'm also gonna show the empty hand technique for this. So if Black Scout Commando Zax gives me a number one, you're going to see I'm going to block here, okay? And notice how my crumb is up. That's for me to trap his hand to guide him here. And you notice I'm going to immediately shoot my hand here. And the reason for that is, is so if I just do this, Zach's going to cut my stomach, right? But so go ahead and give it to me again. And so here I'm going to stop and trap his hand here. And now I have the button, that midi portion of the thumb. And I'm going to pinch that. And from here, because it uh, you know, makes him loosen up his hands, I can take my knife and hit it there, cut his hand up if I have to, and then you know, do whatever kind of damage I need to to him um, from that position. Now, if he gives me, you can give me a number, uh, put in a stab reverse grip. So if he comes to stab at me, I can kind of do the same thing, trap around here, disarm here, shoot his arm across, and give him a you know, cut across the midsection. So we'll show that again. You give me that stab again. So I'm gonna block, and I'm immediately bring the arm around, and I can go here, and I'm cutting as I'm, I'm moving through him. So that is uh, a good way to do defend against a stab. Now let me show you with empty hands how this works as well. So, and you can practice this at home if you don't have a crumb, but you get a Sharpie marker or whatever. If you give me number one, I'm immediately gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna shoot out my hand and I'm gonna grab here. I'm gonna transfer here. Now I grab his thumb and I disarm here, okay? So now I'm gonna show you how to, um, the number one, if, if we can't get that disarm and then we go to a strike and then he stops the strike, what we can do to combat that. So number one again, we're gonna do the same thing. And so now we're here and I, can't get that disarm, so I'm gonna go to a strike and he stops me, okay? Now that curved blade, that's where this is gonna come in handy because now I can control that arm and cut at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is since I have that button, now I'm gonna go ahead and disarm him with himself and trap him 
and now I can do that cut. So do that one more time. So now I'm gonna grab that arm with that curved blade. I'm gonna shoot down and I'm gonna grab across and then I can cut, wrap him up, whatever. And you notice that, grab my arm real quick. And so you notice that right here, I'm trapping that arm just like that right there. So I can cut him, do whatever I want to to him. All right guys, so that was a little bit of Crombit video. Make sure if you wanna get this Emerson Crombit to go hit that uh, link below, use the discount code. Like I said, this is the cheapest that I've seen it. 175, no kidding, plus the 15 percent discount. Anyhow, all my awesome subscribers hit that thumbs up. If you're one of those guys that shared your first kiss with your cousin, hit that thumbs down so we know who you are. Anyhow guys, hope you enjoyed it. Also, we got new shirts in the store, Black Scout Commando Zach can show us right here, the Black Scout uh, flag tee. Same one, we got a few different colors, so make sure you hit that link down there below, as well as the Liberty hats and uh, help support the channel. Anyhow guys, thanks for watching, take care.